Hello everyone. Today we're gonna uh, find the uh, determine the maximum and minimum values of a quadratic function given a general form. So we have a general form right here, a x squared plus b x plus c. So how do we find uh, if a graph is a maximum? How do we know that the graph is a minimum? So here's the thing. So if the a is negative, so in this uh, the coefficient of x squared, which is a, is negative, we know that the graph opens downward. So if a is negative, the graph opens downward. And this is our vertex. So our vertex is represented as hk. And um, so then if, the, if it opens downward, that means this is the maximum point, the, uh, the k value is considered as the maximum point. So this, the y value in the vertex or the k is considered as the maximum. The reason why it's called the reason why it has a maximum if it's if a is negative because imagine this is like a this is like a hill so it's a mountain so a mountain this is the the top of the mountain so that means that's the maximum height of the mountain. Now if a is negative so it's negative so if a is positive this is a different case. So if a is positive the parabola is or the graph of the quadratic equation is opening upward and so this side right here or this point right here is the vertex again represented as hk and then so then since this is like a valley so imagine this is a valley if a is positive so that means this is the lowest point in the valley and so we call this as the minimum so if, if it's a valley it has the lowest point minimum if it's a mountain then it has the highest point called maximum so this one right here is called the minimum the k value now, how do we find the vertex of a general form? So we have a formula over here, or the notation for the vertex. This is rep this represents the h, and then this represents the k. So um, the h is negative b over 2a, and then the, the k is actually the function of the h. What does it mean? Whatever the value of the h, you plug it into the x of the original equation to find the k. Now let's have an example to better see the uh, process and how to determine for the maximum and minimum. So let's take this first example here. So we have a function right here. f of x is 2x squared minus 4x plus 5. Does it have a minimum or maximum? In order that we know if it has a maximum or minimum, is to look at the a so our a value there is a positive 2 so since this is positive that means that the graph opens up so the graph opens up so it's gonna look like this so that's how the that's how the graph of this function is gonna look like and this is our minimum so then it has a minimum so this function if it's graphed on the x and y axis it will have a minimum because it opens down uh, it opens up so it has this lowest point which is like the valley okay so let's find the vertex for this so how do we find the vertex again there is a formula so um, I'll just put this as blank and blank. This is represented as h and k. So let's solve for h first. So the formula for h is negative b over 2a. So then I will give you a trick on how to plug in values here. Please remember, change the letters into a parenthesis first before you plug in values. Again, change the letters into parentheses. So in here, I'm going to go ahead and say negative parentheses over two parentheses. And then after you've written the parentheses, fill the values inside the parentheses with the values that we got from here. So our B is negative four and our A is positive two. So then we go ahead and multiply these two together, negative negative of a negative 4 is a positive 4 over 4. So then our h is positive 1. So I'm going to write h here 
as positive 1. Now, how do we find the k? Because remember, this is the vertex here is hk. Now, we already got the uh, h. Now, how do we find the k? So, to find for the k, we are going to use the original equation. I'm going to write it out. 2x squared minus 4x plus 5. So use the original equation, but this time around, you plug in the h value to the x. Again, use the original equation, plug in the value of h to the x. So then, before we plug it in, be sure that we change the letters into a parenthesis first. So this would be 2 parentheses squared minus 4 parentheses plus 5. And then once you put in the parentheses, that's the time that you, we put in the value of the x. So that's 1 and 1 here. So then we are able to come up with 2 times 1 and then 4 times, uh, negative 4 times 1 is a negative 4 plus 5. So then this is 2 minus 4 plus 5 is a positive 3. So our k is positive 3. So this is 3 right here. We remember that the minimum or the maximum is the k value. So the minimum here is 3. And this is our minimum for this um, function. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so this one is not in standard form. So then we are going to change this to standard form. In order to do that, we're supposed to use the area model for this so that we can uh, determine what is this value if we multiply them together. So I'm going to show the area model, I mean the... Um, the um, product for this one using the area model. So we have x and then 2x negative 6. So this is x squared negative 6x, 2x negative 12. So then the function is f of x is actually equal to negative 3 parentheses. This one would be x squared minus 4x and then that is minus 12. And then we distribute each of the, uh, we distribute the negative 3 to each of the terms inside the parentheses. And so this would, the f of x is equal to negative 3x plus 12x plus 36. So then we already have the a, b, and c. So from here, we are going to determine the a. So our a for this function is negative 3. So what does it mean if we have a negative value. This is telling us that this graph opens down. So this graph opens down. So if I were to sketch the graph for this, it's going to open down that way. So this is our vertex. And so this is represented as HK. The K value for this, since this is like a mountain, so we have a maximum. So we're going to have a maximum for this since it opens downward. And so this is like a mountain that's the highest peak of the mountain. So at this time, we are going to determine the values for H and K or the vertex. Remember, the value for the uh, maximum is the K, but we can't get into the K if we don't solve for the H first. So let's solve for the H first. So H is equal to the negative b over 2a. So in this problem, again, there's a trick. Always uh, always remember that. Change the letter into a parenthesis before you plug in values. So that is negative parenthesis over 2 parenthesis. So then the b in this problem is 12. So I'm going to write 12 over here. And then our a is negative 3. So then we can go ahead and um, uh, simplify this as negative 12 over negative 6, which would give us a value of our h here is positive 2. Okay, so then if we write the vertex for this over here, so let's write the vertex. 
so the first value is um, 2. So we got the 2, and we are now looking for the k. Again, to find for the k, we are going to use the original equation. You can use this or you can use that. It doesn't really matter. So let's just use this one over here. So that is negative uh, 3 x x plus 12 x plus 36 and then again before you plug in change the uh, this is 3 by the way this is supposed to be 3 x squared here so I missed that so that's 3 x squared so again be sure that we um, be sure that we change the parentheses or the letters into a parentheses before we plug in the value so that is negative 3 parentheses squared plus 12 parentheses plus 36, and so the ones that we write into the parentheses would be the um, h value, which is 2 and 2 here. So then we are able to get negative 3 times 4 plus 24 plus 36. So this is negative 12 plus 24 plus 36. So then our k is 48. And so this one right here is 48. Remember that the maximum is the k value. So then we can go ahead and write the maximum here is 48. Did you get the same answers as this? Good. Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.